Look at that delicious food. So I have not eaten since after seven this morning. Um, I had a very long morning, so I'm just getting down to lunch. Make sure I get a little bit of carbs in there. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon and gym time is around 4.30. Now, I really, ju I really actually like to have a good three to four hour window between my meals before working out so I get all of the um, energy from, you know, my food. I can't really work out immediately after eating, but I cannot wait out too long either. So um, I just went out the street and got some sushi. I like salmon rolls. I got that and some miso soup. And that is my pre-workout meal. Everyone, so here I am at my home gym fitness connection. Um, I'm going to voice over this, leave the background noise on. Sometimes I like to hear the clash of the iron. It's kind of weird. You know, I don't always like to hear music in the background. Um, you know, the iron gives me vibes when I look at these videos. So, I started off with some... Um, uh, curls, uh, dumbbell curls for my biceps. When I went to the gym that day, I wanted to focus on my arms, a little bit on my shoulders, and um, but really target my biceps and finish up my leg workout from the day prior because I didn't get a chance to finish up my sets. Um, you know, with in these times, sometimes I go to the gym and machines are not really available. So instead of just standing around, I might do something, you know, like an alter alternative exercise. Or if I really, really want to work on something, I will just um, finish up the following day. For now, I go to the gym three days a week. So Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Um, I have other commitments, but that's enough for me. I decided to try the easy bar I have not done this in a long time like probably in two years um, it gives you a different feel different angles um, I so when I say different angles you guys can see how I'm holding it that way that also works your forearms I have really small forearms and um, you know I try to work everything I some people you know they like focusing on certain body parts. For me, I like looking um, more lower body dominant, but I do work out everything. So I am really glad I got this bar. I, it's been such a long time and I did a lot of exercises using it, targeting my biceps and my forearms. Um, I did a lot of single arm um, dumbbell curls and what else did I do I didn't target my triceps that day but honestly I didn't like how my arms were starting to look kind of soft like you know like I don't work out so I was like you know what let me get back into serious mood with my upper body and try to have a more rounded look I hope what I'm saying makes sense because at the same time I'm telling you I want to be lower body dominant for now. And then I use the easy bar to get some uh, shoulder work in, some shoulder and chest work in. And that felt really, really good. Um, this t-shirt, by the way, you can find that on Etsy. Uh, my friend um, has a t-shirt business. So I was just supporting her. But you guys can check out um, that as well. I will put the link in the bio. And so um, after that, I went ahead and finished up my my leg workout. So I had to complete my hamstrings work. So I got on the leg curls, the laying down leg curl machine. I did about eight sets of that. That felt really good. Um, and then after that, I went ahead and I did some um, box jumps or plyo box exercises. Now, I'll tell you guys, I'm really not the best at this. I What you're looking at right here is like an improved version. Okay, so please don't come for me. I have come a long way. I remember the first time I tried these, I was so afraid of falling. I know that's ridiculous because the thing is not even high. But that was just me. I was really afraid of falling. But um, I really want to tell you that I improved and I love doing 
plyo exercises. Um, these explosive moves really help with, um, you know, challenging your body, targeting the larger muscle groups, and giving your body an overall workout. So what I'm going to do, maybe one day I can just dedicate an entire video to some of the plyo exercises that I do. But as I said, it's been such a while, like well enough probably over a year, um, I've done any type of plyo workout. Um, of course, when you're doing these, um, and this is not a plyo tutorial, um, you don't want to rush through the exercises. So really take your time and of course that minimizes the risk of falling. So the first set I did, um, those were box jumps. And here I'm basically going from a squat position into a squat position. So um, squat and squat and up. You always want to reset and stand up the way I did. So up, <laughs> I almost fell, kind of lost my balance. I have no shame. I'm going to show you guys my, my struggles as well. You know, sometimes I think... Um, a lot of these creators try to be so perfect, but y'all, I don't even have time to edit these things the way I should. You know, I'm, I'm a very busy person, busy being productive. Um, even outside of the home and outside of the gym, I have other stuff going on. So I'm just showing you what I do and I'm going to show you my mistakes and all of that. And then I saw this exercise on YouTube. It's called a, um, a twisting or twist box jump. I was so afraid to try this. You're basically supposed to start off on the facing forward and twist your body into a jump. So my little air bud fell off. Um, it was it felt more daunting than it looks, you know. And I really had to figure out what I was going to do. So I was trying to step up, trying to you know just gauge where my feet were going to land. You know, there I was doing some trial, <laughs> some trial jumps. But these were so good, especially for um, your obliques as well. So I'm going to continue working on these and just try to get a whole lot better. But the concept is the same. You're coming from a twisting position into a squat position. And then you set up, you stand up before stepping back down. So twist up, squat. Again, I lost my balance. Y'all could just tell I'm, this is just, I'm new to all of this. So jump, twist, stand up step back jump twist <laughs> squat stand up step back and you get the idea so i think that's what i'm going to do i'm just going to dedicate a video to plyometric exercises but thank you guys for watching um if you are new to my channel please go ahead and subscribe i'm going to come with a video where i answer all of your questions check out my other videos as well and until next time peace i appreciate you guys love you all bye